Yay! White Stag's back in the workshop and I'm reflected in the window over there. Look at that. Um, right, this is the car that is uh, the brother to mine. Um, very, very, very close in age. I've got a couple of jobs I'm going to do with this car. Um, one of them um, <laughs> was a somewhat alarming development of, of all the smoke leaking out of the loom, specifically around the overdrive cable. Oopsie. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. That has been super f***ing hot, hasn't it? It looks like all of the burning has been in this little extension here. Uh, that's pretty grim. I've relocated to the bench um, because this is actually a f***ing horror story. I'm sorry to swear there, folks, but this is a f***ing horror story. Sworn twice now. That's two Fs for me to edit out. Now, first and foremost, someone has used um, either domestic or uh, speaker wire. You can see it's got some uh, weird strands and so forth in here. And in all honesty, it's probably saved the loom. Allow me to explain. Workshop manual. Repair operations manual. This is the Haynes version. I've kind of taken it all out because it all fell apart years ago so i put it into loose leaf folders if we go to section 10 chapter 10 electrical systems in this chapter we've got a really really nice breakdown let's just adjust the camera slightly really nice breakdown of the fuses okay fuses are there to protect the circuit okay and if we look down at fuse 19 and 20 which is for the overdrive it should be 10 amps now this is a British car. It runs on the Lucas wiring system. Okay, Lucas fuses are different to American fuses, even though they look very, very, very similar. So, a Lucas fuse is designed to blow at a rating. Now, what I'm going to do is, rather than me waffling, I'm actually going to read from a really nice web page. Let me just open my phone up a second. Really nice web page I found, um, which is on the Triumph TR6 info page. And it talks about automotive electrical fuses, British versus American. So British and American standards for rating fuse electrical fuses are different. This is important, folks. Listen. Both provide an amp rating for very similar looking fuses, but the two ratings mean very different things. The US system rates to the fuse based on the continuous load it can handle, for a specified period of time without blowing, while the British system expresses the load at which the fuse will immediately blow. There is a significant difference. As an example, the 35 amp fuse called out for many British uh, vintage cars, so Lotuses, Triumphs, etc, 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 is roughly equivalent to the US spec 17 amp fuse. So a 35 amp UK Lucas fuse will be equivalent to a 17 amp ish fuse. I think 17.5 last time I worked it out. American spec fuse. If you've got a circuit that needs a 35 amp fuse, don't put an American 35 amp fuse in it. You might as well put a fucking nail in it. Right, so there's that. So then what we've got is there's a nice little section on here. I'll try, see if I can screen grab this and insert it in. And it gives you the different ratings of the British fuse versus the American continuous rated fuses. So we're looking at a blow rated fuse um, that needs to go into the UK spec cars. Now, these blow rated fuses, they're not widely available. So if you were to go to your local automotive auto factor, motor factor, um, they're not going to be able to sell you a, they'll sell you a continuous rated fuse. It's, oh yeah, it's a barrel rated fuse. It's just 35 amps on it. No, this is a, if I could get this out of here, because this is the fuse that was in the car. Um, let me, I'm just going to see if I can get the end cap off it. If I can get the end cap off, there we are, that's just made a fucking great mess there. And in here, I'm going to clear this glass up in a second, folks. I mean, I can't even fucking snap him. In here is a very thick, I'm just going to chop it just so I can see. And then peel the paper back. 
Look at the thickness of that fuse. So that's a 35 amp continuous rated fuse for an American system, not a UK system. UK 35 amp fuse, I'm not going to break this because they're expensive, is literally a piece of wire. It's about the, about the thickness of a hair. Maybe you could see the difference. I don't know. Maybe you could see the difference. Right, so there's some stupidity there on selecting, or let's say ignorance. Let's be generous. There's some ignorance on the rating of the fuse. So it's been um, incorrectly specified between a Lucas blow rated fuse and a American continuous rated fuse. However, bearing in mind it was a 35 amp American continuous rated fuse that was fitted, if we look at the fuse rating for the overdrive, 10 amps blow rated. Well, I think we can see why the fuse didn't blow. Like I say, you might as well have put a nail in it. 